New Man United go owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has made Gareth Southgate his number one choice to replace Eric Ten Hag in the summer, according to reports. The Dutchman had a positive first season in charge of the Red Devils with Ten Hag leading them to an FA Cup final, Carabao Cup silverware and a top four finish in the Premier League. Is Eric Ten Hag facing the sack this summer? But this season has been a different story with Man United finishing bottom of their Champions League group and struggling for consistency in sixth in the Premier League. That has seen pressure grow again on Ten Hag's job with Ratcliffe, who completed a deal to buy 25% of the club last month, keeping an eye on his progress this season. Ten Hag did help his cause on Sunday by guiding Man United to a 4-3 victory over Liverpool in their FA Cup quarter-final clash as they came from behind twice to move into the semi-finals. There have been reports insisting that Ratcliffe has decided to fire Ten Hag in the summer with same publication claiming men were negotiating to bring in Brighton's Roberto De Zerbi. And now the Daily Star insists that Man United go owner Ratcliffe is growing increasingly confident of being able to lure England boss Gareth Southgate to replace Eric Ten Hag this summer. The British billionaire has made Southgate his number one choice to replace Ten Hag with the England boss's contract running out in December. After Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford consulted some of United's former greats the overwhelming choice was Southgate and now the man United hierarchy would like a decision from him sooner rather than later, so he can plan for next season and beyond. Southgate who has the backing of some of United's current players and incoming sporting director Dan Ashworth, has so far refused to discuss his future until after Euro 2024 in Germany. Jadon Sancho doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia Jadon Sancho, who is on loan at Borussia Dortmund, is one of the players Radcliffe could look to sell this summer in order to raise funds for a recruitment drive. With former CBS sports journalist Ben Jacobs explaining the England international's current situation. Jacobs wrote in his caught offside column, There's no doubt Jadon Sancho is loving life back at Dortmund, but a permanent move has its complications. Dortmund need to be able to compensate Manchester United and afford Sancho's wages. And it's a big outlet to sign him and Ian Motson who the German club also wished to secure. Manchester United won at least £50 million for Sancho. This was the number they quoted to Saudi clubs last summer prior to Sir Jim Ratcliffe taking over sporting control. That proposed fee may have even risen closer to £60 million given Sancho is now playing regularly and there may be other clubs circling this summer. Sancho doesn't want to go to Saudi but that's unlikely to stop dealmakers trying again, and this may give Manchester United a bit of leverage. Al Etifek made a loan inquiry last summer, and Al Shabab and Al Ali will consider an approach if they get encouragement from the player side. But Sancho has to date dismissed Saudi approaches. He ideally wants to stay at Dortmund. Dortmund are hoping for a bargain deal, which feels a bit hopeful. Their starting point is only around £30 million, and that's not going to be accepted. There are a lot of moving parts. It's probably fair to say if Eric Ten Hag stays, Sancho will almost certainly be sold, at least unless he apologizes to the Manchester United boss. But if Ten Hag was to leave this summer, Sancho would consider a return. He has no issue with Manchester United as a club, but the feeling for many months is that there is no way forward for him at Old Trafford under Ten Hag. Some reports suggest a solution might be for Manchester United to swap Sancho for Daniel Mullen with both players valued at similar numbers. It's a neat narrative, and Mullen is in good form of late, but I am still told Manchester United want cash for Sancho. This will allow them to move more freely in the market and ease any FFP or profit and sustainability concerns.